College is where students grow into professionals, ideas transform to reality, and leaders come to life. So take advantage, UConn, because this is your time. My name is Holland Abraham. I'm a senior chemical engineer at the University of Connecticut, and I'm from East Hampton. I'm the president of Omega Chi Epsilon. It's a chemical engineering honor society here at UConn. We really pride ourselves on representing the chemical engineering department at the University of Connecticut. And we do a lot of tutoring for the younger chemical engineers. I'm kind of trying to get it to be an organization to bring the chemical engineering department together because I had no idea what senior designer lab was like until I got there. And it's, it's nice passing on that information and helping out the younger kids. I actually do kind of dabble in a bunch of different fields. We have labs that we do where it's kind of an assigned topic that you're researching. One of the labs that we did do was a drug delivery experiment where we basically looked at polymer beads as drug carriers and we use tartrazine dye, which is the dye they commonly use in orange soda. When you put these beads into water, you can see the yellow color moving out of the beads into the water as time progresses. I, I like it a lot because you just learn so much more when you're hands on. The big box machine that we were in front of is actually a CVD, it's a chemical vapor deposition, and we're the only undergraduate chemical engineering program to have this machine. That's the lab that I'm doing now, and it's, it's awesome. One of my biggest passions that I really enjoy is rock climbing. It's a great stress reliever. I like it because it's different than using my brain. It's a workout that you have a lot of fun doing and it's nice to achieve something that's kind of physically challenging. The other uh, activity I enjoy is I homebrew. Um, my, my father has brewed at home since I was probably five, I would say. So when I turned 21, he bought me my first homebrew kit, everything I needed, he bought me my first pack of um, like hops and everything you need to throw into the bucket and make the beer. It's a lot of fun. I make a mess, but I'm learning. <laughs> I'm definitely a good mixture of my mom and dad. People meet my mom and within 30 seconds go, I know where your outgoing, boisterous personality comes from, but I also am balanced out by my dad, who's more reserved, science-y, you know, like he's a biology teacher, so I get the kind of science drive from his side. Having a balanced life is important to me simply because I don't want to only do engineering. I run, I rock climb, I hang out with friends. Most people think of engineers as boys who sit in their room and do homework and play video games and don't know how to talk to people. And I just want to challenge people's opinions. I'm a woman in engineer and there definitely is some prejudice. I stand up for myself and I get things done, but people look at me and when they hear I'm a chemical engineer, I get double takes. And I think that's almost the biggest motivator I have to keep going in the engineering field is because I want to make it easier for other girls.